It's a new video. And in the last video, this is where I left it off. So I think to to kick to kick this one off. I guess I'm just gonna hit this a few more times. Well, actually, I haven't even scrubbed this down yet. Like I, there's still surface rust and stuff on there. So I need to take a what was I using? I think I have a quad zero uh, bristle pad, like kitchen pad for dishes or whatever and then i mean i got this stuff too this is a what's it just a red scotch bright pad and then i can go over it with the polish i think that's what we'll do today we are uh we're rocking and rolling on this i feel like that's a lot better than it was it's still you can see there you go you can see there's still some stuff in it uh, but I still haven't hit it I still haven't hit it with the polishing compound I'm still using that heavy cut stuff so I don't know I think it's probably about as good as it's gonna get but it's way better than it was and for the rear fender so I <laughs> well you can see I, uh, I scratched it down and it cleaned up so nice that I was like, you know what? I think we're going to try and do the undercoating. You know, it's uh, just undercoating. It's just black paint. All it's got to do is stick. Uh, seems like it's doing pretty good. I did notice that I missed. I missed that little spot there. I'm not happy about that. Oh, well, it'll get another coat. One more coat at least. Another day. So, I'm, you can see in the background there, that has been, uh, that's been sitting now for a, a day, we'll say, we'll call it. I got the other one sitting down there, it's down, it's tucked away. I figured I'm going to hit that again real quick with another uh, coat of black, that way it can just keep on sitting there and cure up nice and... The paint can be whatever. While that's doing that, uh, I think I might go through and attach my, well, focus. There we go. So I got the, this is that uh, clutch lever that I put the pin in or whatever. And I brought it down here and I figured, uh, while the paint's, yeah, there we go. While the, uh, while the paint's drying, on the on the fender over there I can sort of run the the clutch lever through there and again I got little little caps to like crimp on the ends of the th on the on the actual cable and so everything sort of looks neat and buttons up you know buttons together nicely and all that stuff all right. we got some light <laughs> uh, and then I'd figure I'd I figured I'd show you this if I can remember what I did with them because I got these quite a while ago. They are uh, little cable caps. That's really all they are. They're just little aluminum caps that uh, you put on the on the ends of your bicycle cables or. I mean, I guess you could probably do this with some motorcycle cables as well if you could find one that didn't need to be fastened through a nut or something. Man struggles to open plastic bag. Okay. So, I figured I'd use the red ones, and even though once you get them out of the pack, they're not really... It's more of an orange than anything else, but <laughs> that very tiny little thing there. Let's see if I can get it focus on the the thing. I don't know, it's extra small. But I figured I'd show you what's going on here. So all I'm gonna do now this I'm not too sure that might need to come back off, maybe. Just stick it on the end, and this is, I got 
these are I think these are especially made for these but you could probably use this for a bunch of other crimping needs you know uh, look at my size I guess it's that Just feel good about it over the crimps Ooh. Well, that didn't stay in there. Where'd it go? I think I might have crimped it in the wrong hole. <laughs> I can't get the thing out now. There it went. I definitely do think it was in the wrong hole. We might have to get that up there and try again. So take two on this thing, and I'm going to go... I'm going to go 1.5 or whatever that is. Let's see what that does. Well, it ruined the paint on the thing, but it is crimped in there. And I suppose that's what counts. Yeah. One of the, however many, two or three at least, that'll get one of these. I can't do, what other ones? I think the brake cable. I don't know, I might have to dig that out. That might be what we're doing is crimping ends on wires today. So I can't do the brakes yet, but um, I can, uh, mostly just because there's there's a part of the brake where the, the cable has to feed through, uh, sort of a little fastening nut, and I don't think them ends are small enough to pass through that, so I'd have to feed the cable through there, then crimp the end on it. I'll do that later, it's fine. What I can do now, though, is I did get... So this is the uh, this is the throttle cable that came with the new carburetor that's now on the engine. I have my I have the old uh, kill switch and throttle cable thing hooked to the old carburetor still. And now I for being a for being a cheap Chinese carburetor I can't be mad at this thing. It it took. Uh, it took every last bit of what I gave it and still works perfectly fine so uh, I will most likely clean it real quick and set it on the shelf for a spare just in case I need me a little a, a little quick carburetor throw on something I know this thing's proved and tested it works so we'll uh, let me tear this down real quick I don't lose that. So now I can remove. Almost got it. Move that. I have to start a. A little bit spilling. I'm gonna have to start a spare parts box here pretty soon. This can go away for now. Let me get I guess I don't really need to take that. Take the little bowl off. Oh, 
Yep, it's a little carburetor. <laughs> Looks really good in there. Just thinking it kind of looked like some junkies were building up around the edge of the the gasket that's in there, but I don't think that is. I think it's just the gasket's bloated a little bit. Everybody ready for warm weather? I know I am. It is really clean in this little thing. I almost, I almost feel goofy for for cleaning it. Well, we're here. That little plunger. So that anybody who's watching that um, has messed with these before will probably know uh, what I'm what I'm getting ready to show. But for anybody who hasn't, it's kind of crazy to me with that. So that thing there is uh, like a primer. You know, when you when you getting ready to start it or whatever, you flip your choke up, and then you know you just pump that a few times. It doesn't really say it never really took this carb uh, or engine uh always it was just you know like one two maybe three kick it and it would go um uh, after the break-in so it was maybe i just got lucky with a good engine I, who knows it's just a way for you to to sort of prime the carb and get some fuel in there so it can it can rip out of the gate but yeah so that on the inside here the thing that struck me the reason why i'm off on this is that it's just, you can't really, you see it? It's a, it's a, like a church key pin. Just shove through there and twist it around. That's, that's the only thing that keeps that from popping out. I'm surprised that's not like a vacuum hazard or leak or whatever. I don't know. Anyway. I would like to uh, I'll slap it back together real quick, put it on the shelf. I mean that's the only thing the only thing I need to do. Okay, that should work better now. There we go. Well, it looks like my little wannabe screen filter here is on its last leg. It's not happy about it. She gone. Alright, well there's that all back together. Stick it off on the shelf over here. We'll see what else we can do. All right, we're moving, moving right along on this, uh, on this fender. I, I got the undercoating on, got all the tape stripped back off of it, and then now I'm just going to. I kind of already did it in here a bit, uh, and so I'm just gonna go go over the whole fender. A couple times at least with this. This is just a I don't know some kind of Scotch Brite pad. I don't know what 
what coarse or you know what grit rather it is uh, it's I don't know whatever the red ones are uh, yeah I'm just gonna hit this couple times and see where we get <laughs> done it I've done at least as much as I'm going to uh, for this video so what we got Ewan, there's kind of a sort of a look at what's gonna happen I got everything polished I mean as polished as it's gonna be man to be honest with you I could spend I could spend the next year polishing this uh, or I could leave it where it's at right now and ride it and have it still look good I mean that's shiny right we will have to revisit the paint I've already I've already eaten crow on that one and then plus two seeing it like this I'm kinda happy I'm kinda happy it did cuz it went for some strange reason, it went a little darker than I wanted it to. It's, it's kind of a bit more purple, isn't it? You know? And it didn't, I didn't want that that dark of a color. So, I get the opportunity to mess with the, to mess with the final coat, or at least one of the stages. See if I can't work something out with that. But I guess that's it for now, guys. I want to thank everybody for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.